The power of the group. Understanding the three causes of crowd psychology, have you ever found yourself caught up in the energy of a crowd? Whether it be at a concert, a protest, or a sporting event? It's hard to deny the power of a group and the way it can influence our thoughts and actions. This phenomenon, known as crowd psychology, has been studied for decades, and researchers have identified three main causes, social facilitation, deindividuation, and conformity. By understanding these causes, we can gain insight into why people behave the way they do in groups and how we can use this knowledge to create positive change. In this blog post, we'll delve deeper into each cause and explore real-life examples of their effects. So, let's dive in and explore the power of the group. What is crowd psychology? Crowd psychology is a fascinating subject that delves into the intricacies of human behavior and interaction within groups. So, what are the three causes of crowd psychology? Firstly, social identity theory suggests that individuals' behavior and attitudes are shaped by the groups they belong to. People tend to identify with their social groups, and this can lead to certain behaviors becoming the norm for that group. Secondly, deindividuation theory argues that when individuals feel anonymous within a larger group, they tend to lose their sense of individuality and act in ways they might not normally do. This can lead to impulsive or even reckless behavior. Finally, contagion theory posits that emotions and behaviors can spread rapidly within a group, leading to a collective response or action. Crowd psychology, therefore, provides valuable insights into how various factors can influence individuals' behavior within a group setting. Similarly, the study of crowd psychology highlights the three key factors that lead to the formation and behavior of crowds. Environmental factors, collective identities, and contagion effects all play a vital role in shaping the actions and emotions of individuals within a group. Understanding these underlying causes can help us to better comprehend why and how crowds form and how they can potentially become dangerous or destructive. By analyzing the complex interplay between these three factors, we can gain deeper insights into the dynamics of crowd behavior and work towards developing more effective strategies for managing large groups of people in a variety of contexts. Ultimately, knowing what the three causes of crowd psychology are can help us to navigate complex social situations and promote greater understanding and cooperation among diverse groups of people. The Three Causes of Crowd Psychology Crowd psychology is a fascinating area of study as it provides insight into the behavior of individuals when they come together in a group. The three primary causes of crowd psychology are anonymity, social interaction, and deindividuation. When individuals feel anonymous in a crowd, they can act without fear of consequences, which can lead to a heightened sense of social interaction. This social interaction then fuels deindividuation, which is a decrease in individual identity. Essentially, when people are part of a group, they may start to feel like they are just one small part of a larger whole, rather than an individual with their own unique thoughts and feelings. This can result in behaviors that they may not normally engage in if they were alone. Understanding these three causes can help us make sense of how and why people behave the way they do in crowds. Besides deindividuation, 
there are two other causes of crowd psychology. The first is social identity theory, where individuals conform to the norms of a group in order to maintain or enhance their self. Team. This can lead to increased cohesion within the group and a sense of belonging, but also a disregard for outsiders or those who don't conform. The second cause is contagion theory, where emotions and behaviors can be spread rapidly through a crowd, leading to irrational or extreme actions. These three causes all play a role in shaping the behavior of individuals within a crowd, and understanding them can help us better predict and manage crowd dynamics in various settings. The impact of group dynamics. When discussing the topic of crowd psychology, it is important to consider the three main causes that contribute to it. One such cause is group dynamics. This refers to the ways in which individuals interact with each other within a crowd and how they perceive the group as a whole. Group dynamics can influence the behavior of individuals within a crowd, leading to a shift in their attitudes, beliefs, and actions. This can result in a phenomenon known as group polarization where individuals tend to adopt more extreme viewpoints and behaviors when surrounded by like-minded individuals. Therefore, understanding the impact of group dynamics on crowd behavior is crucial when attempting to comprehend and manage crowd psychology. What are the three causes of crowd psychology? One of the primary factors is group size. As the number of individuals in a group increases, people are more prone to throw caution to the wind and act impulsively. This shift in behavior can be attributed to a weakening of inhibitions that would otherwise be present when alone. This can manifest in numerous ways, such as taking risks or engaging in impulsive behavior. Such occurrences are commonly observed in various crowd situations, from concerts to protests, where group dynamics play a significant role in shaping individual actions. The phenomenon highlights how human psychology is heavily influenced by social interactions and the impact of collective behavior. Also. It is important to note that the presence of a leader or an individual in power is one of the key causes of crowd psychology. The influence of a leader can shape the behavior and decisions of a group, often leading to a phenomenon known as groupthink. This is when individuals conform to the opinions and beliefs of their group rather than expressing their own independent ideas. Additionally, the presence of a leader can also amplify the effects of de-individuation, as individuals may lose their sense of self-awareness and personal responsibility in favor of following the actions and decisions of the group. Overall, the influence of a leader is a crucial component in understanding the complex dynamics of crowd behavior and psychology. Exploring the power of the group. The study of crowd psychology is integral to understanding group dynamics and the power of a group. What are the three causes of crowd psychology that generate an intense feeling of power, excitement, and anonymity? First, the collective energy of a crowd can create a sense of unity that individuals often seek, leading to a feeling of belonging and acceptance. Secondly, the anonymity of being in a large group can make individuals feel less accountable for their actions, often leading to mob-like behavior. Lastly, 
The excitement generated by a crowd can fuel a sense of invincibility, leading to irrational decision-making and heightened emotional responses. Understanding these factors is crucial for those seeking to manage and control crowds, whether through security measures or marketing tactics. The lasting impact of crowd psychology is often seen in social movements and political revolutions, where the power of a group can change the course of history. What are the three causes of crowd psychology? One of the primary causes is the psychological impact that crowds can have on our behavior. The presence of a large group of people can influence our behavior in ways that we may not be consciously aware of. For example, being part of a crowd can create a sense of invincibility where individuals feel like they are protected and can behave in ways that they might not normally consider. This can lead to heightened risk, taking behavior, such as crossing busy streets without looking or engaging in dangerous activities. Additionally, being part of a crowd can create a sense of social cohesion and identity, as individuals feel a sense of belonging to a larger group. Overall, the psychological impact of crowds is an important factor in understanding crowd psychology and it can have a profound influence on our behavior and decision-making. Furthermore, understanding the causes of crowd psychology is crucial in today's society as large gatherings and protests have become a common occurrence. The three main causes of crowd psychology, anonymity, suggestibility, and de-individuation play significant roles in shaping the behavior of individuals in a group setting. Anonymity provides a sense of protection, while suggestibility allows for individuals to conform to the group's actions and decisions. De-individuation further reinforces this behavior by making individuals feel like they are part of something larger than themselves. This effect can be amplified when crowds become overly large or louder, as people tend to take their cues from those around them in order to avoid standing out from the group. Therefore, it is important to recognize and understand these causes in order to maintain safety and order in crowd settings. Conclusion. In conclusion, understanding the three causes of crowd psychology is essential for anyone who wants to understand the power of the group. By recognizing social facilitation, de-individuation, and conformity, we can gain insight into why people behave the way they do in groups and how we can use this knowledge to create positive change. Whether you're trying to promote a new idea, lead a team, or simply understand your own behavior in a group, understanding crowd psychology is a valuable tool. So, let's continue to explore this fascinating phenomenon and use our knowledge to navigate the power of the group in a positive and productive way.